Okay, here is my ground station. That is my 1.2 slash 1.3 gigahertz TrueRC antenna. That right there is a notch filter that removes crossfire signal. And that's the Dock King. And that's the Matec uh, 1.2 slash 1.3 receiver. And it's connected via AV cable to the Fat Sharks. And this is my quad six inch with T motors on it. And you have the Matec uh, transmitter on there with the Singularity antenna on it as well. So as an aside, I've gotten so used to flying planes that this uh, speed just seems so slow. This is moving about uh, 40, maybe topping up at uh, 50 miles an hour and uh, it just it feels really slow. So way out here, there's just, there's no difference in, in quality. This is about a mile out, and yeah, I turn around, there's just no, no, no drop of signal at all. That, that's, that's flawless. It looks like I'm flying right next to myself. Okay, now on to 5.8. Okay, now here is the 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, again, six inch T motor, and uh, I've got my Fat Sharks with a, uh, a directional, and uh, rapid fire. There we And uh, I don't know, maybe I had just uh, gotten used to the 1.2 gigahertz, but it felt really fuzzy out here. And again, uh, 5.8 can usually go way further than a mile. It's just I'm in a RF dense environment and it was really humid out, so there was a lot of moisture in the air. So looking at it on the screen afterwards, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but when I was flying, the 5.8 gigahertz just I kept I kept feeling like I was about to run out of uh, video. Like here, it doesn't look all that bad. Like I'm questioning why I turned around, but when I was in the goggles, it was uh, it was scary. So about here, I decided to turn around just because it was just getting a little too fuzzy for my liking. And again, here you can just see how how much wind there was. It was really bad. Okay, so here is a raw compare of both video feeds at the same time. I'm going to jump around a little bit just to speed it up. I'm going to try to match them with the location that they're at. Now, I feel kind of silly because in my environment, the 5.8 only goes so far. It only maybe goes a mile or so, uh, which is uh, what pushed me to go with the 1.3. Um, I, I keep hearing all these uh, stories in the Long Range Hooligans group about how people go, you know, four or five miles on uh, 25 milliwatts of 5.8. But uh, out here, it's, uh, you know, in this metropolitan area, there's there's a lot of radio frequency, and I think that's what's accounting for my limited range. Now, it's not fair to compare 1.3 to 5.8 because they're, you know, they're, they're different classes of uh, video transmitters. But I just wanted to show what the difference was for people who were using 5.8. Um, long range and wanted to see what it would look like if they went uh, 